What's happening internet family? Dan here from DanceTube.tv and today I have a Mavic 2 Pro high wind test. Winds were up to 24 miles per hour. It was insanely gusty out there, but for some silly reason I decided, well, let's test out the Mavic 2 Pro. So I tested it in an extremely windy condition and let's be honest, this thing handles like a champion. I will also share my initial impressions of the Mavic 2 Pro. I've only had one flight so far with the one battery but I got a lot of footage and I got to test it in an extremely windy condition so these are my initial impressions so far. Before jumping into the video guys, I'd like to give a massive shout out to Aussie Tech for helping out with all of the video production on this video here. I was filming with the Mavic 2 Pro and then the other footage you'll see was filmed by Aussie Tech. Now as you can see from the footage, the Mavic 2 Pro was getting blown all over the place, but amazingly enough, the footage is extremely smooth. It just looks perfect and I'm amazed at how well it handled in such a windy condition. Wind speeds were upwards of 25 miles per hour. It was honestly pretty silly to be flying, but I mean, I, I wanted to test the Mavic 2 Pro. This was the first flight, and I've owned many other drones before, and in comparison, this thing just seemed to handle the wind really well. I was not scared at all at any point for the Mavic 2. It just handled it really well. Now, yeah, there were times when it was getting blown around, but the camera was just stable the entire time. It did an amazing job of counteracting everything. And my first impressions so far are all very positive. The image quality is spectacular. It just seems to have so much detail and it's extremely rich. I filmed everything in 4K HQ and then I've rendered the video in 1080p. So I've downscaled it a little bit, but still the detail in the image is amazing. And this was literally just me shooting 4K HQ and just taking it up in the air and just getting shots based on what I could see, and it looks great. I had a little chance to adjust the aperture, and then I played around with the manual settings until I was really happy with the image, and then I basically just flew, and I was really impressed with the battery life. Considering it was such a windy day, I got a decent amount of battery life. I didn't time the first flight. I will definitely be timing future flights for my review, but I was impressed with the amount of time I got considering how windy it was and how much I was doing with the drone. I flew extremely high in the air. I flew quite far away from me as well, but I definitely kept it still relatively close to me. I was a little bit nervous with this wind and I didn't really want to fly over the water too much, but it got to the point that I was very confident with it and it was handling the winds anyway, so I started pushing the boundaries a little further. I am very impressed with the Mavic 2 Pro based on my early impressions, this first flight, the whole setup process and everything. As always, the DJI process is very easy to activate the drone, to then update the firmware and to calibrate the actual compass and everything. It's all very easy and you get used to it over time, so all of that was as you would expect. The controller performed well. The only real issue I had was with micro SD cards for some reason. We tested a few different micro SDs and it came up with the error message slow SD card. So I don't know what happened then. I had to play with a few and then finally found one that actually worked. But that was kind of the only issue I really had. Everything else was fantastic and I was really, really happy with the overall performance of the Mavic 2 Pro. So anyway, thank you so much for watching. Let me know what you think in the comments below. I will have a review you coming very soon and before you buy the best settings and a few other videos so thank you so much for watching make sure to have a splendid day and peace out